Well, the Doughboys are nearly a mathematical lock to represent the West Division in the championship in a few weeks' time, but not quite yet. The River Riders are still in second. They had a small chance going into this evening. They were playing a doubleheader with the Otterbots today. They trail big here in the fifth. Will Bollinger on to pitch. He gets a pair of strikeouts in the fifth inning. Unfortunately for the home squad, they still trail 10-4. to four. Same score in the seventh. Brandon Jung is in to close it down for the visitors. He's going to get a few strikeouts. Danville just one out away from grabbing the game one victory, but Maddie Wright never say die. Ground ball to short. He's hustling the whole way. The ball is going to squirt free. Two runs come around to touch home plate. That would be it, however, as the River Riders fall 10-6. And with that loss, Johnson City is a lock, and they become your Appalachian League West Division champions. In Kingsport, the Axemen competing with boys to men tonight, but still pretty good crowd. The River Turtles leading 5-zip. Axemen soft liner to second. Pulaski's Xavier Esquier, he tries to pull a fast one, drops the ball to create a double play chance. Uh, the home plate umpire says, uh, nice try, young man. Only one out granted on the play, but the Axemen would come up empty regardless. Top six, Reese Moore, he grounds the first. It skitters under the glove and into right field. Christopher Hund will score. It's six to nothing. River Turtles. Jeremiah Newman. He would get a K to cool things down here, but only briefly as the visitors go on to win this one by a final of 10 to nothing. In Bristol, the state liners pounce early on Princeton, but the whistle pigs, well, they weathered that storm. They score six in the final three innings of this one to prevail eight to three.